Hi, I'm Gloria Furman, and I'm here at the Gospel Coalition for Women's Conference with my friend Monica. Monica, could you tell us a little more about yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Monica DeGarmo. My husband and I are uh, planting a church in Columbus, Ohio, Scarlet City Church. We've been there for about two years. Yeah. <laughs> right, and Monica, the gospel is precious to you every day. Yes, very much so. Very and much so. significantly more so recently because of something important that's happened in your life. Right. Um, a little over a year ago, our two-year-old son, Deacon Cade, uh, was tragically hit by a car and died suddenly. Um, and at that point, our, our world was rocked. <laughs> and the hope of the gospel was something that we knew before, um, but it had to become real to us. <laughs> we couldn't survive, couldn't live another day without the hope of eternity and what Christ did for us, knowing that our baby boy's life is going to be resurrected. We'll see him again. He's being well taken care of by Jesus. Um, and we still, like every day, we still have to really remember that and rest in that and wrestle with that. And our longing for heaven has just increased a hundredfold since then. So it's been very hard and at the same time very sweet and good. Monica, could you tell us a little more about specifically how a day would look for you and how clinging to the gospel is something immensely relevant to your every moment? Sure. Um, you know, especially right after Deacon's accident, my husband, both my husband and I, we just, we really struggled with depression. We have another, our daughter who's five years old. Um, so we definitely had the motivation of trying to pick up the pieces and keep our family intact, glorifying God in this situation. Um, There's even an instance where before this accident happened, like really feeling in my heart, you know, God, if you entrusted me with suffering, I promise that I will cling to you and I won't turn to you or turn toward myself. And then to have him hand such a weighty, you know, situation, um, I was determined that I would cling to God. And I knew that that was the only way we were going to get through it. It was just one of those things. And so, you know, you wake up and our house is much more quiet. Um, you go from having a little boy and a little girl to just a little girl, and the dynamics change a lot. Um, so having to be, you know, better with quiet, uh, and in that, hearing God and hearing him speak to our family, uh, speaking the gospel, preaching it to ourselves, preaching it to our daughter, um, having to preach it to our family, our extended family, and our friends around us who were also shook by the tragedy and the suddenness of Deacon's death. Um, it's definitely one of those situations that if we didn't have something so solid like the gospel and Jesus, there's just no way you could get through something like that and continue to find joy and peace and happiness and love and in, in life. So Absolutely. Could you talk a little bit more about the preciousness of being in Christ and the presence of the indwelling Holy Spirit and what that means to you personally? Definitely. Um, I know that where our family has been and where we have come would not be possible without the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. The things that we have been capable of going through and remaining intact. My marriage with my husband Gabe is much stronger than it's ever been going through something so awful. Um, our family is closer and more of a family unit than we've ever been. We value each other so much. And, uh, and the only explanation <laughs> is the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and the preciousness of life, the preciousness of God's creation, um, the preciousness of our standing before God because of Christ, uh, knowing that that would not be possible without his death on the cross and his resurrection has become so real. And, uh, and it's because it had to. Like, you go one way or the other when you deal with uh, tragedy. And thankfully, God chose us to turn toward him in this season. And we're so grateful. And we've just been able to experience so much sweetness because of that. Could you tell me, too, about the relevance of God's word to you? Definitely. Um, God's word has been just an anchor in our family. We have to constantly go back and be reminded of, of what we have waiting for us in heaven has been huge. Um, what Deacon is experiencing now, you know, reading through that in God's word, um, knowing that we will be together again, and uh, even the fact that the pain that we're going through now, what awaits us in heaven is so great that we're going to forget about this. 
you know, <laughs> be overwhelmed by the greatness of what's in heaven, we're gonna forget about the pain and the tragedy uh, that happens in a broken world is mind blowing. And, but to go, to have something like the word of God, to go back to and be reminded when the world is painting a pretty bleak picture has been really precious. And we've just been so thankful that God has left us such a gift in the word. Well, Monica, thank you for your authenticity and your willingness to share your story. And thank you for your faithfulness to glorify God uh, in your life. And Thanks. I've seen that personally and, and thank you for sharing that right now. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>